My name is Gaia Marchisio. I'm Assistant Professor of Management and Family Business at Kennesaw State University in Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, I've, uh, I've been working as a professor and uh, advisor for family business for a few years, actually. <coughs> and uh, my background, actually, uh, I, I was part of a family myself. Uh, so I kind of wear these triple hats. Uh, I've, I've been asked uh, about what are the steps to improve a family conflict. I believe there are, to make it simple and uh, uh, applicable to the most <coughs> cases, I would make four points. And uh, for what I've seen, for what my experience and research taught me, I think what is very useful and important is that uh, people involved uh, in conflict are able to make a distinction between um, their emotional part and their thoughts. They should be aware of uh, what is emotion, and although you can't control your emotions, but you can control your behavior, the more aware you are of uh, the emotions and thoughts, the more you are able to, uh, to change your behavior accordingly. The other thing I think it's important is to make a distinction not only with, between thoughts and, uh, and emotions, but also between uh, time horizon, so what is past is not present and it's not future. Uh, what do I mean with that is that very often families, when they uh, have a conflict, they bring to the table uh, past experience, past issues, and they can make a distinction between what the current issues with uh, what is the past one. And this creates a lot of uh, confusion and it makes harder to find the solution. Uh, another point which I think it's quite important is when people is able to make a distinction between what is the role in the family and the role in the business. And so when they fight, they try to understand and they have to be aware of uh, who is fighting now. Are we fighting as siblings? Are we fighting as mother and son? Or are we fighting as head of the department? So what's the role? Of course, being able to make all of these distinctions requires a lot of emotional maturity, which is very hard to achieve and requires a lot of work. A second important step, I think, after being able to make distinction between different levels, I think it's uh, um, to leverage on the intuition. Intuitions are good, but intuition cannot become assumption upon which we build our reality. Uh, quite often, being involved with family, we know our family members, or we think we know, and therefore, instead of asking and uh, double checking, uh, we just built our assumption and we live upon that, which means that we are not living in the reality but in the idea we have of that. And that might not be accurate at all. Um, third point is, uh, I, I do believe and I do see that very often there is uh, a misconception about what is a healthy relationship, what is a good relationship. People think as long as I don't fight, uh, this is good. Uh, this is not good at all. Um, Quite often people tell me, um, you know, everything's fine here, but I don't have a very updated information because they don't talk. And again, not talking means no communication, facilitates the creation of assumptions, which is bad. So other family says we have a good relationship because we can get together, we can have fun, we can have dinner, but as long as we don't talk about some topics, everything is okay. Again, this is not a good relationship. Good relationship is a relationship where I have the opportunity and I have the capabilities to talk about what is usually considered a taboo for the family and what and we can disagree. We are able to disagree. So good relationships are those where we can work around issues instead of pretending we don't have issues and everything is okay. Last thing I always uh, suggest to take into consideration is uh, time. Uh, to fix this situation or to build good relationship, it requires a lot of time. And it's important to have the patience to um, accept other people's uh, time of reaction. Not everybody um, change at the same pace. Uh, not everybody uh, reacts at the same pace or with the same, uh, or according to our expectations. And respecting this is a, a key, um, point to be uh, successful in the long term. So uh, to, to make it a kind of summary of these four points, uh, developing emotional maturity, which is what allow us to keep separate um, uh, roles and separate emotions and time. 
and uh, being able to develop your intuition without making assumptions of what things uh, are happening and uh, having good relationship meaning uh, talking about taboos and being able to disagree and respecting the the time that you might need to do that being patient of course this is not all but i think this is a good way to begin addressing conflict in families thank you